Well, there's something you don't see in too many countries. An ice cream van, Mr. Whippy. And um, what they do, for those of you not familiar with ice cream vans, is that um, when they're driving into an area, they'll put on some, uh, some music, um, as well as block the road. <laughs> um, they'll put on some music, which to a lot of people is annoying, of course, but what it tends to do is uh, get a lot of kids to go, Oh, ice cream, ice cream, mummy, daddy, can I have an ice cream, please? And so everybody then goes out and pays an excessive amount of money for um, flakes and other things. But, you know, um, it's what it is. The weather's quite nice. I um, haven't seen an ice cream van for a little while, actually. Um, of course, they're not normally out during the winter anyway. Um, but um, today is Tuesday, the 16th of June. And um, yesterday, a lot of the retail stores, the non-essential stores, were allowed to reopen for the first time in three months. So there's been a lot of stuff not going on, including yours truly working. But anyway, so in a way, it's nice to sort of see things getting back to normal. Um, it's a nice day. I've just spent about an hour cleaning part of the gutter from um, this house. Or rather messy, but anyway, so that is an ice cream van. Um, just in case you're walking around the streets of Britain and you hear this obnoxious noise and the kids all running and saying, ice cream, ice cream, ice cream. There we go. Mr. Whippy. Bye. Oh, that's Nikki. I mean, I don't know how much these things are. I mean, obviously they're going to be more than the normal. Like if you go to a supermarket or something. Oh, Nikki. Oh, let's see, the fella's got his blue gloves on. Okay. There we go. See, part of, um, I was going to say British culture, I mean, I, I, I'm i not sure if any of you are in Australia, New Zealand, other places, maybe you could uh, put it in the comments box as to whether these uh, sort of activities are uh, normal. <laughs> Alright, bye.